Now, if you're looking into Baldwin and Manchester and Ellisville, wondering, okay, how do they compare? What is it like to live there? What are the differences? Or maybe you're familiar with one of these, but not the other two. My guess is it's probably Baldwin. Am I right? Or maybe you're familiar with two of them and not the third one. Just wondering, okay, what does it look like? What are the differences? What is this place? What's it like to live there? Today, I'm gonna give you the full scoop, talk about what it's like, what the differences are, and how they compare. The full scoop. I feel like I've been saying that more in videos lately. I don't know why. The full scoop, the inside scoop. Anyway, we're talking about Baldwin versus Manchester versus Ellisville. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Pystrup. So Baldwin and Ellisville and Manchester and Winchester, Twin Oaks, like, okay, how do these places compare? What's it like to live there? Overall, I'll tell you right now, they're very similar. Like they have a lot in common. They're pretty similar. And that's why I'm grouping them together in this video. They have their differences, of course, but really they're very similar. So if that's what you came here wondering, there you go. These three places are very similar. I mean, they look the same, they have roads in common. You could probably drive through all three of them and not really notice that you're switching from one town to the next. But I'm gonna give you the rundown and what you should know if you're moving to any one of these three areas. And if you are moving here, if you want some help with that process, if these videos are helpful, my team and I are licensed realtors here. That is why we do these videos. Send us an email, send us a text, whatever works for you. If you wanna to work together, we would absolutely love to help you. We get reach outs on a regular basis. We love helping our clients through this YouTube channel. So Baldwin, Ellisville, and Manchester, these are all very West County suburbs. They're not you know, crazy expensive West County like Frontenac, Town & Country. You know, they're definitely lower on the price spectrum, but they're very similar. They're the West County suburbs. That's what you'll see. Baldwin is the biggest one. And that's why I said at the beginning, if you've heard of one of these, I'm guessing it's probably Baldwin. So size is one of the biggest differences. And again, that's usually why Baldwin is just much more widely known. It's the biggest one. Now, in terms of price, how do they stack up? Manchester is usually gonna be the lower one of these three. So the median selling price there is typically around the high 200,000s, maybe the low 300,000s, especially lately. Manchester is where you will see lower prices than what you'll see in Baldwin, and definitely way lower than Chesterfield. Ellisville is the middle child. Typically, you know, in the, the low 300,000s is pretty typical for the median price there. Maybe, you know, upwards towards the mid threes, that's where Ellisville usually comes in. And then Baldwin, Baldwin's the biggest and it's the most expensive as far as prices go. And then Chesterfield, Chesterfield is huge and it's typically higher priced. So Chesterfield has a lot of newer homes and these are all luxury homes in the higher price points. And there's a lot of stuff going on in Chesterfield. They're usually around the mid 500s for their median. So Chesterfield is definitely not as starter home friendly as Baldwin, Manchester, and Ellisville. So that's kind of how I describe it. You will see very similar homes in Baldwin and Manchester and Ellisville compared to Chesterfield. Just typically on the smaller side, maybe a little bit older, you will see a lot of these homes from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. A lot of ranches or split level homes on the older side in any of these three areas. And then you do see some new construction and new neighborhoods going up. Not as much as you will see in Chesterfield. So like I said, there is a ton of new stuff going on there. So Baldwin, Manchester, and Ellisville are usually just on the slightly smaller and slightly older side for the homes you'll see. But the neighborhoods are all very similar. They look, I mean, really you could drive through a bunch of neighborhoods in Chesterfield and Baldwin, Manchester and Ellisville, and they look very similar. Like you're not gonna really know the differences. And in terms of school districts, it's tough to compare them because they all share the same school districts. So if you're looking at Parkway West, this is gonna be parts of Baldwin and Manchester. Parkway West also goes into town and country. So you will see between town and country, some parts of Baldwin and some parts of Manchester, you're gonna have Parkway West schools. Now Baldwin and Manchester will also share Parkway South. So if you're further south in Baldwin and towards the north of Manchester, you will have Parkway South schools. And then the rest of Baldwin and Ellisville are gonna share Marquette, which is what you also have in Clarkson Valley and Chesterfield right next door. 
So those are some of the biggest differences. Now I'm gonna talk about the similarities, which is the style, the look, and just what it's like to live in these three areas. So between these three, the layout is pretty similar in that you will have a couple very busy roads with all of your shopping, your strip malls, like, you know, shopping, groceries, all the big brand stores along these busy roads. And Manchester Road is probably what you're gonna hear about because it is the biggest. It is the biggest, the most traffic-y, there are tons of stoplights, it just gets very congested. But all along Manchester is where you have tons of stores, big brand chains, you know, the strip malls, the shopping, everything you need is gonna be on Manchester. I mean, grocery stores, clothing stores, your Target, Walmart, Sam's Club, car dealerships, gas stations, like everything is on Manchester. So you can't really avoid it if you live in this area. It's kind of like a love-hate thing, but more so hate just because Manchester is extremely busy. It is a pain if you're traveling somewhere and Manchester is your best way to get there. And Manchester goes through every single one of these. Manchester is busy. It goes all the way from Manchester as the name all the way towards Ellisville and then it goes into you know Wildwood and becomes Route 100. It's busy. It is a busy road, lots of car accidents, like it just gets congested. So you have the busy roads like Manchester and then you have these you know meandering kind of subdivisions that go deeper and deeper and once you stem off of these roads it's just like cul-de-sac after cul-de-sac different street that will take you into another neighborhood and that's kind of what you'll see it's like you have all these interconnected subdivisions and you'll go from one busy road kind of get off and cut through you go through all of it you come out on the other side wherever that is so you kind of get off the really busy roads and then you have these smaller quieter subdivisions that stem off of that. Now, if you're thinking, well, duh, that's how every suburb is, not necessarily. So when you look at these three, that's what it looks like. If you look at a place like Town & Country, Creve Core, or Ladue, it's just the way the neighborhoods are set up are different. So you have the main roads going horizontally, you have less major roads going vertically, and then off of those roads, you have all these single streets that will strip stem off of that and then it doesn't go anywhere. It's a cul-de-sac, it's a dead end. So it's like, it looks like a tree. It's like you have these vertical streets and then neighborhoods that come off of that, but they don't go anywhere. And then you look at a place like Kirkwood or Webster Groves, and it's very much more of a block system. You could walk around if you want, but it's block after block, and that's kind of what the street system looks like. It's just like the street hierarchy that makes it different in a place like this part of West County, where if you live here, it's just, there's no interstate going through. It's tougher to get to the highway or get anywhere because you gotta take a road like Manchester, which is just stoplight after stoplight, and it gets, you know, very trafficy. Like you do not want to drive down Manchester Road around that 5 p.m. traffic rush because it is insane. And there's usually not really a faster way to get there than Manchester because 64 goes parallel to Manchester, but like there's not really a good way to cut over to 64. So that's kind of the pain if you're stuck relying on Manchester. And I'm just realizing I didn't really elaborate on this earlier, but you can throw in Winchester and Twin Oaks with these three. Again, they look pretty similar. You're just like Winchester is even smaller than Manchester. Twin Oaks is tiny and you're just getting further south in West County. Once you get to Valley Park, that's where things get weird simply because their zoning is all out of whack in Valley Park. It has a very weird look to it. What I mean is they have like no zoning. You will see a house next to a random church, next to a house, next to a warehouse, and then there's just a, a random parking lot right there. Like it's all mixed together in Valley Park. Speaking of parks, if you are someone who wants to have plenty of outdoor space in your area, between all three of these, you have plenty of parks. You got the dog parks, tennis courts, community rec centers, like whatever you want for outdoor space, you will see that here. I mean, like Ellisville has their park. They will do fireworks there every year. Baldwin has Vlasis Park with uh, tennis courts, walking trail, like all sorts of stuff. Um, water parks, like whatever you want, you'll find it in this part of town. And if you're someone who kind of wants to go for a hike, in the south of Baldwin, you will see Castlewood State Park, which is a really cool place. Just go for a hike. You can kind of take the trail up the hill and it'll take you out to this lookout point over the river, which is really cool. And in the part of Baldwin that's further towards Castlewood, 
it will have more of like this woodsy feel than the rest of Baldwin. So it's not gonna have as much of like this big subdivision kind of feel. It's more woodsy, feels more like Wildwood as you're driving down closer to Castlewood. It just becomes less suburban feeling, much more like woodsy, living in the woods kind of feel. So really, whatever kind of style you're going for, you can probably find it in Baldwin, Manchester, or Ellisville. And if you're really considering one of these areas and you're not so sure about the others, if you like the style and the way that it looks and feels, it's gonna be pretty similar from one to the next to the next. School districts a little bit different, prices sometimes a little bit different, but they look very similar. So again, like I mentioned, if you're moving to the area, if you want some help with that move, buying a house and everything that goes along with that, send us an email, shoot us a text message, let's get in touch, get that conversation started and help you with that move to the area. So until then, thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Hope you take care, have a phenomenal day and I will catch you in the next video on the Living St. Louis channel.